Hello YouTube, Moose Cow here, back with another exciting recap of our second BBR game. This is a recap of round four. First things first, here is the Boneyard dish, and this was a very eventful round. A lot of German pieces, a lot of Soviet pieces. Italians, some Americans, some UK, some Japanese, Chinese, actually no Chinese units this turn. Anyway, here's what happened. On with the show. Germany, still having a hold on Europe, committed to Operation Barbarossa that uh, the Italians started on their previous turn. They went in and took Baltic States. They went in and took Bessarabia. Oh, wait. They had also taken Belarus. Oh, dang. Um, and they marched into Karelia and Vyborg. As you can see, the Soviets, me, uh, I'm the Soviets in the UK and France, um, the Soviets had, uh, saw a couple opportunities and uh, wrecked some havoc on the German forces. Um, the mass of units that was coming in from Finland, wasn't much I can do about that. Again, he has a minor complex there. Um, and uh, uh, a lot of units were coming into Bessarabia, going down the Romania pipeline. A bunch of Italians were in eastern Poland. And uh, because of his lack of triple A, mostly because of his lack of triple A on his front line, he only has one German triple A in uh, Romania. Backing up to last turn, he's got two triple A in Denmark. He's got one triple A in Normandy. Uh, and he's got two Italian triple A down here on, on the coast in uh, Rome and southern France. Um, last turn, the French fighter in UK took out four AAA that he had stationed in Holland, Belgium. So that's that was two two Italians and two Germans. So anyway, there's a lot less Axis AAA on the board. So because of that, I flew my force from Le my air force from Leningrad down to Belarus. I also had a bunch of units here in Bryansk. In Ukraine, so brought that in here, and then he had a couple, a few tanks and some mech that he had pushed into Belarus. Took that out because of the Italian can opener here. So I sensed an opportunity. I had tons of forces in Leningrad, and I had tons of forces in Bryansk. I also had self-propelled artillery, as did Germany. Um, on that note, this is what happened. Uh, tech was revealed. Japan previously got improved shipyards. Um, Germany this turn got self-propelled artillery, Russia also got self-propelled artillery, US got um, improved shipyards, and uh, uh, UK got jet fighters. Anzac, we played, uh, we decided to roll uh, Anzac uh, Commonwealths, uh, or you know, Anzac Canada Commonwealth, whatever. Their tech, uh, we, they just got it activated um, for the top of this round. That's the only thing we've done so far. Um, we're still deciding whether or not we're gonna do more tech and all that um, for this next round. So anyway, it's late. On with the rest of the recap. So yeah, Russia took out the units in Belarus. So I still got a mountain of units in Belarus there and uh, took out Bessarabia. He's probably gonna be able to wipe that out next turn. Um, Italy, um, the units they had in Eastern Poland from Italy suicided themselves against Bessarabia. Uh, didn't get a great amount of hits, so uh, there's still some forces there. He whittled me down, but uh, um, I'm all for being able to eliminate can openers on the Eastern Front when I'm the Soviets. All right, now the battle of the century. Uh, uh, um, oh yeah, well back yeah. Before I get to that, Germany also used the air, their bombers as air transports. First time Mike used them as air transports and brought them down to Tobruk. 
He was going to bring them into Bessarabia, but he didn't and because, because there was a triple A there, and uh, he didn't realize he couldn't uh, non-combat move those into a territory that was just that was taken. He has to uh, air transport in non-combat on into a territory that he originally controlled or was at least originally friendly. Um, so he couldn't do that, so he brought them down to Tobruk instead, which honestly I don't think was a bad, was a bad idea. And they're in, chilling out in Malta. Right there. Um, and then uh, he built subs. He's got a transport and a sub in 92. Uh, the two Axis sub uh, destroyers, uh, sorry, not, not destroyers, battleships uh, are hanging out in 96. Um, after uh, Italy heavily supported this area, and I'll come back to that later. But the Battle of the Century happened in this sea zone, 114, when I, as the Soviets, took out Belarus, took out Bessarabia. There was three transports and a destroyer and a cruiser in 114. And I figured, well, um, uh, Rick suggested I attack it. Might as well attack it, you know, put it to some use. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm probably going to lose it. Probably gonna su it's probably going to suicide. But whatever, you know, might as well see what happened. Well, each round of combat, I got a hit, and he did not. So I knocked out three transports, a destroyer, and a cruiser. First round, he took the cruiser as the casualty. Second round... The destroyer third round um, I, ca I kept getting hits every time we rolled I got hits and then so I just had to knock out the two trans two transports and I got it it was unprecedented every time I rolled I got a hit with this sub um, I don't I don't think that'll ever happen again I don't think that'll ever happen again the other Soviet sub is still alive in 109 but uh, yeah I'm still shocked that should not have happened I was rolling impeccably with that. So I don't know what die that was anymore because I got a bunch. So that lucky die is now lost, but who cares? The Soviets also blitzed and took Northwest Iran to get the NO for that. No war uh, with Japan. That, is not hap that has not happened. Um, and let's see, going on from there, Japan, speaking of Japan, um, Japan, let's see, attacked, oh, one second, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think, what did Japan do again? Japan took the Philippines this turn, right? Yeah, yeah. So Japan took the Philippines, and Japan took, walked into Kwangtong, took Kwangzi back, which the UK took back as well, um, and, uh, has been fortifying heavily in Japan and pushing into China, making a way to take uh, the walk-in of Kanzu. Um, China has been bullied into Yunnan, keeping the since the Burma Road is open. Uh, again, they lost their Flying Tiger last round, so while he still could, he bought another tank. So we got two Chinese tanks and one Chinese artillery. Uh, this is I'm, uh, this is all in that territory. Um, some things are getting pretty crowded. Um, that is not the most crowded territory. You'll see that. You'll see soon what I'm talking about. Um, and then he kind of rebuttled, re-shifted things around here. He's rail, railed move, uh, units down from Manchuria, um, and and all that jazz. But he's he still hasn't taken the money islands. He has, still hasn't taken any of the money islands. Um, his transports. He took Guam. He did take Guam this turn. So that's nice. Um, and uh, he sent units to 16. All the Americans that were in Hawaii, there was a huge force in Hawaii. The only thing that's there is a AAA right now. Um, this is what's on the West Coast. Everything in Hawaii moved down to Anzac land. <laughs> they moved down to Australia. Now, believe it or not, all of that stuff is actually in Queensland. I just didn't feel like chipping it out. <laughs> so all of that stuff is in Queensland. 
all those naval units, including the Anzac naval units, all this stuff is in this C zone 62, I believe that is. 63. All this stuff is in 63. This is in 62. But all this is in 63. All this stuff is in Queensland. Um, I'll get a different angle so you can see everything. Or try to see everything at least. So, all those bombers he brought as air transports. All that stuff is, uh, chill. he brought down a few uh, uh, artillery. We still got these units on the West Coast. And uh, outside of that, the US went ham with uh, building uh, capital ships. Uh, again, we have currently, let's see, we got two, yeah, Japan and US both have shipyards. Um, Anzac, uh, not Anzac, Canada moved their units down to 28, dropped off in Central America because he wanted to move them down here, but there's still subs within range, and we don't want a repeat of what happened a couple turns ago in 88. We don't want to do that again, so um, America's gearing up to be able to do something over here. Um, when that will be? Not next turn, because he doesn't have any transports yet. And he doesn't have any air transports over there either. But anyway. Um, UK. Let's see. All right. Yeah, UK. I covered China already, right? Yeah, I did. UK brought a bunch of stuff down to French West Africa there. I also used an air transport from here, dropped some guys off there, then flew over here. Um, another air transport dropped two guys off, landed here, brought the uh, English jet fighters down from UK, and then uh, on France's turn brought the French fighter down here as well. So that will stop this little Italian excursion that I presume he was going to plan to circle around with. Because of the forces here in Egypt, uh, I, take, I blitzed to El Alamein, came back. He's had to fortify and bring stuff and direct whatever he could over here um, after taking Malta. So the Malta ground forces dropped off there. Um, there were two uh, Italian destroyers here, and I went in too light. I went in with one sub in my Air Force, hoping that I would at least get my target select, and I missed my first target select uh, of the game, um, and he got two hits against me. I did get two hits against him, so I destroyed them, but I lost my sub and also a jet fighter. So that that bites. I should have gone in two, but I didn't want to, you know, if I bring something in there, he's just, just going to take it. So anyway, yeah, so it bites. Uh, I, went in, I, I was, uh, I was uh, a little overconfident. I've, I've been hitting every single target select this game, so that, you know, it was bound, I was bound not to hit sooner or later. Iran uh, built two fighters and a destroyer, India ground units and a transport fortifying uh, Shan State. I retook Kwangzi back with, uh, I went in with three infantry against a tank and I believe it was an artillery and an infantry. And he got two hits against, I, I, I managed to knock out his tank with a target select, this guy. And, um, but he still got two hits against me. So uh, I lost two infantry and took that territory back. Um, but I wanted to do that, even though there's this huge horde up here, but I wanted to do that because that was his only tank. So uh, best to uh, get rid of that um, before the uh, cannon fodder can cover for it, you know? Um, I'm one away from Kwangtung, but I'm sure he's gonna come in there. Um, right now he's got three transports in uh, the Philippines. He's got one transport off Guam, and that's it right now. Um, he's got two bombers in Okinawa, and the naval units over there. So that's what it's looking like for Japan. Let's see. Um, Anzac built three subs. France does what France can do, which was just fly that fighter down. So I pretty much covered it. Um, that is our crazy recap for this game. Um, I was not feeling confident with uh, this.
this front, but with the way that he separates stuff up and his, his, just his lack of AAA coverage. He had one in Romania, but he forgot to move it into Bessarabia. Um, he should have. Um, he could have easily forgotten, but uh, uh, and it was my turn, so we, we went with it. And uh, yeah, I took out Bessarabia. Uh, and severely crippled German's front. Even though this is really strong up here, he's gonna get Leningrad, he's gonna make a push into stuff, um, but I've, took it, I've taken out so many tanks of Germany's right now that this may cripple, this may, cri this may be enough to cripple his, uh, his front. Because right now he doesn't have enough to take out this. So I've also moved all my factories back a space. That's uh, all my minor factories. That's what the brown chips underneath them are for. Um, I moved them back all a space um, just to prepare for the impending doom but it doesn't look like it's gonna be as bad as I was thinking it was gonna be um, either way um, we're still gonna get into it he's probably gonna eliminate my tanks down here but you know what? I'm okay with that I'm okay with that they did their job all right I'm rambling long enough uh, that was a recap of round four and we got at least four rounds to go. All right, I, I rolled the dice pretty well this round. Let's see if I can keep it up.